In this video I will quickly demonstrate to you how to export Spiral Knights models for further use in other softwares like Blender and Unity. First let's download everything you need. All the download links will be in the description. For most things you will want to use Free Rings Sharp, developed by AT the Spirit. In the future of the tutorial I will refer to it as TRS. You will want to download the zip file Free Rings Sharp and the player knight articulated config fixed dot that. This will be necessary to export armors together with their weight paint and rig. In order to properly export armors, you will also need to download Spiral View developed by Lucas. The newest version at this moment is Spiral View 1.7, but I had some issues and some other people as well where it simply didn't open at all. So for this video, I'm going to download and use Spiral View 1.6. Some special cases may not export properly with TRS or may not export at all. In these cases, I recommend using this tool, which was also developed by ET the Spirit. However, the GitHub page is not online anymore and I just still have it saved from like four years ago or something. I currently have it uploaded on my OneDrive and have a public link to it. You can download it from there and uh, save it yourself. In this tutorial I will also be using Blender to demonstrate a few things and GIMP to edit the textures. First let's extract TRS. You don't need the folder to be in a specific location, it can be anywhere, you don't need to install anything. Just run the SK Animator tool, uh, XE and run it. Make sure that all the locations are set correctly by clicking on the folder icon and setting the correct path. Next open your Spiral Knights folder and head into the folder rsrc and move the player knights articulated file in there. The file needs to be in rsrc otherwise it will not work. Now extract the spiral view folder and put the jar inside of the Spiral Knights directory. And the very same thing needs to be done with the sk that object jar. Now let's start by actually exporting something. First you should always try to use TRS as it has the most functions. Open TRS and select some item. In this case I will export a voltage. Usually you want to look for the files called model.dat or modelset.dat. In the lower window, you sometimes have blue text. That means that this dot dot file has multiple meshes inside of it and not just one. If you click it, you can select which one of these meshes you want to export. In that case, you can select chuck press brandish, bolt brand or voltage. Naming, by the way, is always a little bit funky. Click on export and select the save location and file name. Here it asks if you want to export all meshes inside that file or just the one you selected. In this case, I only want the voltage. All right, now let's check in Blender. File, import, gltf. And voila, here we have our voltage. Sometimes shading is a little bit messed up, but fixing that would be too much for this tutorial. Instead, usually I like to change shading to flat and texture. Sometimes it will already have a texture applied automatically. Sometimes it will only have an empty dummy material, like in this case. Let's get the texture we want out of the game files into our tutorial folder. In the material, instead of our base color, we select image texture and select our voltage texture. As you can see, it exported properly with all the UV maps. Now, as I mentioned earlier, sometimes TRS gives cursed results in terms of UV maps, and sometimes it will throw an error and not export anything at all. If that's the case, it's always worth trying it with SK that object. Open it and select the model with issues. Then click on export. In this tool, it will completely ignore whatever name you type in. Instead, it will create a folder called exported model 
and then put the file in with the name exported model and some number. Go ahead and import it onto Blender again. In this case, I also need to select the shader for the material and then select the texture. It still looks wrong the way it is right now, but it's much easier to fix in most cases. In Spiral Nights, if a UV map is bigger than the 0 to 1 space, the textures were mirrored on the edges and edge. In Blender and Unity, it will simply tile the texture without mirroring it. So in order to fix this, we need to manually mirror the overlapping UV parts. You can either wing it with your eyes, like I did here, or you can set the 2D cursor to the corner you need it at, change the pivot point to 2D cursor, and mirror the overlapping vertices with Ctrl M, X. As a warning, this tool has a bug that it will always include your previous exported meshes if you don't restart the program. So here I try to export a different object in the same session. And as you see, the Colada file now contains both meshes. So if you need to use this tool, I recommend restarting the program every time you export something new. All right, back to TRS. TRS allows you to also export rigged objects, including their animations. Let me demonstrate it with the wing accessory. In Blender, if you change the mode to Action Editor, you can see all the different animations included with the object. This works with almost any object, except for armors. If you want to export armors with their rig and weight paint, we need to do a little extra work. First, open up Spiral View and select Model Viewer. Click on Model dot dot in the top right corner and select the Player Knight's articulated config file you put into your RSRC folder earlier. Once again, if it is not in this specific RSRC folder, it will not work. Click on Edit. First, let's collapse implementations. Now get rid of all the parameters in there and then expand implementations again. Now we'll collapse influences, material mappings, animation mappings, and node transforms. What we want is the attachments. Attachments 1 is the armor. If you click on model dot dot, you can now select your desired armor that you want to export. If that is done, click on file, save as, and save it. Make sure to manually enter .dat at the end. The program won't do that for you automatically. You can now go ahead and export this with TRS. And voila, you now have the armor with rig and weight paint in Blender. If you want more information on how to properly use this for Unity, for example, I will make a separate tutorial on that. Now let's change some textures. In Spiral Knights, you mostly have two kinds of textures. One where everything is being recolored in-game by a shader. It usually appears red, green and blue mostly. And one where only the personal color is changed with a shader. I opened both of them here in GIMP. You always need to change the image mode to RGB instead of indexed. That way you will have the whole RGB spectrum of colors available. If you don't do that, you will only have all the colors available that are already in the base texture. In order to just select the personal color parts, I use the Select by Color tool. You can set a threshold and then add more and more colors to the selection by holding down Shift. Sometimes it will select some pixels you don't actually want to select. I deselected them with the Rectangle tool while holding down Control. Now, if you want to change the personal color to the exact same color as in-game, I recommend going to the Spiral Knights wiki. I will link the page in the description. The base color is always magenta, 
and every color you go down, it is a 15 degree hue increase. So if we want the color red, we count one, two, three, four, multiply that by 15, and that is the value we need to change the hue to. If you see some weird spots where it doesn't properly change the color, first check if you switched from index to RGB mode, and if that doesn't help, click on these spots some additional times with the select by color tool. That should fix it. For these textures, it's basically the exact same process, but you need to fiddle around with the hue, brightness and saturation to get the colors you want. I hope I could help you with this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and goodbye.